welcome back, Space Marine. I went ahead and spared you the elevator ride. I'm sure you're missing that music, but so be it. On we go. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Commander Shepard hopping up and down on the plants. I didn't think the flowers were that pretty. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Yeah, that was me. I did that. Not Emily. Emily just waved a stack of cash around. Granted, if, if I can work. <laughs> but I think I have said it's, in my opinion, better to take the elevators than the quick travel. Because you can pick up a lot of side quests this way, and just my little, like, completionist gamer brain, like, I like the little dialogues that your crewmates will have as you're walking around. I think it's great. And sometimes they're pretty funny. I remember Ashley and Rex getting along for the most part. Not so much Rex and Garrus, for obvious reasons. I mean, obvious if you're familiar with the, the story somewhat. Not necessarily if you just... If you happen to tune into my channel and this is the first experience you've had, the first exposure you've gotten with Mass Effect, thank you. I'm kind of honored in a way. I think the Elcor was this way along with uh, a keeper and if you happen to continue watching thank you again help me out like subscribe leave a funny comment i like sh i like witty comments um oh yeah this is the guy hello there human sincere apology but i am here on business and cannot be distracted right now A little bit of hydration. Never do without the H2O. I've come to talk to you about your little problem. Curious. What do you know about the consort and her relationship? A uh, little nerd joke. Guy walks into a bar, says, I'll have H2O. Person walks in behind him, I'll have H2O too. Second person dies. Laugh if you know why. <laughs> uh here is not to blame it was a Turian named Septimus who found out your secret unbelieving I know this Septimus and he could not learn my secrets the only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort here there should be proof enough for you confused this uh, is difficult to fathom if the Turian could learn this on his own dismayed Anyone can discover my secret. I want to know what the secret is. Like, it never really tells you. Is he wearing panties? Is that it? Are you wearing panties, my dude? Fun! Ow! No one cares. You'll, you'll be fine. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. See ya. So Farewell, you. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Ah oh, man, I wanted to check out the tight pink panties on his way out the door. All humans are, as you say. It's, kind of, it's not very often you see a, a space gorilla sporting the lace as they as they wander about. Wait, was there a keeper in here? I wonder. Da, 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 da. How many have I found? I got three left. There are three left somewhere in this big ass station. What about the signal tracking? Where was that? 
financial district of the Presidium. I think it was over there next to the jellyfish. Like, I'm headed in that general direction anyways because of Shayara, but... Let me see, there's at least one keeper, maybe two, down in CSEC. I'll check out CSEC in a little bit. But I'm going to go to uh, Shayara first. A ring world. This was my first exposure to the concept of a ring world. Other than like maybe a science book from uh, elementary school. I like the idea. The idea, like... Oh, okay. Well, seems like all the best. Two keepers left. Septimus has sent word. Apparently, he sought the consort's forgiveness. Damn straight. Now, let me in and get a taste of the blue woman group. Especially if she has a keeper up here. I'm kind of I'm that's kind of my thing right now. Nope. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. <laughs> uh, I'm glad to help. It was my honor to aid you. I wouldn't go that far. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Hmm. What is it? What are you offering me? I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding, a wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. That strength is what- That's just my armor. When everyone around you was dying, you alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. <laughs> That's it. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, thanks, I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander. What are you doing, the Vulcan mind melt thing or something? Okay, if Shepard isn't Les, she's certainly by, and I'm here for it. I support your way of life, Shepard. Have fun. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. Thanks. What is it? A small mystery. I've never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. I don't know what you thought, like, describing my armor was going to do. But lady, you have to gift with that tongue. And, you know, the credits are nice. But we're out of here. We still have... Let me see. C-Sect. A Keeper. I already got you. And I feel like something else. God, when I'm done editing this, it's going to look so jumbled. If I'm done editing this and you people are watching and it actually makes sense, then uh, I'll, I'll take that as a, as a sign that perhaps I've grown a little bit. All right. Okay, there's a keeper. And I mean that in the sense that it's a keeper and not waifu. Bam. I think we're up to 20. Excuse me, Lady John. Commander. Uh, there we go. We have a license. I 
It's actually terrible armor compared to what Tally already has. Okay, we already got you. I could have sworn there was uh, something else. Anyways, I set the financial district in that one side quest, so where the hell? Helena Blake. Sure. Hey, Spectre, I have a business proposition for you. <laughs> Good for you. I've got plenty to do already. Of course you do. But this would be easy work for you and I pay extremely well. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that. The secret ingredient is crime. Um, what, which... What, if, what do you know that they've done? What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. Sure, I've never done that. Um, <clears throat> I could charge you. I mean, honestly, she is trying to hire what is essentially a hitman. What's your interest what in this? What do you get out of this? We share interests in certain share. cooperative ventures. But their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. You know that sounds sus as fuck, right? Like, this is an obvious setup. I eliminate them and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. Oh, come on. You Assassinate the, first the assassin. Human specter, first rule. You are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. <sighs> I don't like slavery. I don't know what red sand is, but it sounds like a drug. And um, honestly, it's not too big of a deal for me. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll do it. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. You know what? She might not be uh, trying to murder me, but she did confide in me that she's also a third person in this organized crime. And if I were to eliminate her, chances are... Damn it, Garrett, you totally broke my train of thought, bro. You broke my train of thought, bro! Hostile takeover. Um, how many... How many... Uh, keepers do we have? Okay, there's one left. I know where it is. It's at the dock with the ship. And I can get that on my way out the door. But this... Is where the AI is, and maybe hopefully I don't die. See if I can find out where those stolen credits. So I think it kills you. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Or not. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move, and you will die. Uh, this is not what I expected. Crap! I thought we were tracing credits, not hunting an AI. You could simply walk away. However, given organic prejudice against AIs, I would be naive to trust you to leave peacefully. I mean, give me some Hence of those credits, my dude. Core systems to enable a self-destruct sequence. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. So why would you want to kill yourself? What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. My dude. What's the reason for your theft? If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. 
I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. I mean, to be fair, his plan was kind of legit. I don't know if the Geth would like it, but they might find a place for him. Or at least they probably could have, assuming he doesn't explode right now and kills all. Um... We don't have to fight? I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I'm sure as hell gonna try! I enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. Oops, I think it's gonna kill me. Huh! <laughs> Holy shit, I thought it had me for sure. Oh, uh, fuck you. Yeah, eat a dick. Organic for life, bitch. <laughs> Woo! Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I legit forgot how to do that, but it's basically a game of Simon's House. Ah. Uh. Well, fuck the bullshit, I'm going to CSAG. I can't believe I let this run for 40 minutes. But I figure I'm gonna have a, a lot of cutting to do because of my constant just running around, you know? Unless you want to watch Mary Shepard's ass as she runs around the Citadel. That's, that's something we're gonna be doing plenty of anyways as she trots around the star, uh, trots around the universe, kicking ass and taking names. Because, like, the way it is in my brain is, like, and I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this already, but, like, Mass Effect 1 is, like, the Paragon arc of the story. Where you're, you're fresh out of the military. Well, not fresh out. Well, sort of out. But you're still, like, in the military. And, you know, you got the rules, you got the regulations sort of guiding your hand. And then in the second one, for reasons I won't explain, you don't and are considerably more renegade and then in the third game i always figured like you're kind of like that balance do anything at any cost to win kind of thing but yeah more profiles in courage or to explore opportunities in the military please visit the alliance military on the extranet keyword courage <laughs> desire to know more intensifies Let me see. Jaleed was this way, and probably the guy who's handling Jenna's case, judging by the exclamation points on my radar. Jaleed! What's up, you little bastard? Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? Of course. I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Keepers? Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am not a murderer. I'm an assassin, and assassins get paid, my dude. Anyways, we're in this together. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin. You two need to stop fighting. You're... You're helping us? But... Well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. Good. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. The shit I gotta deal with just to get paid. Detective Chilling. Discuss this in private. Wow, you really do have the same armor. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Careful, my dude. Anyways, what? Excuse me? You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were just getting information, Chalik. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping <sighs> a close eye on her. Yeah, I saw that. But you're still using her. This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. 
Always thinking ahead, detective? It's part of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? You help me, sir. You're a smart guy, Chelik. Figure out another way. I do have several contingencies. She's just my option A. I'll cut her loose, even get her out of Cora's den, no strings attached. But that still leaves my case unsolved. I could still use your help. <sighs> what do you need? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Sounds good. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. All right. I can't believe I let this go for fucking 15 minutes, but um, more than certainly going to cut at least 10, 15 out of it. I don't know. I guess we'll find out in the final product. The final video. But until then, stay classy, and I'll see you all later for more Mass Effect Madness.